I mean, that piece in particular reminds me about um, when I first decided to become a writer, when I felt like, okay, um, this is something that I should try very seriously. Um, my wife and I have just moved to New York City. This is uh, 2014. And I felt like I should really, really give this a chance. I thought um, my initial plan was to just try to, you know, go to NYC, um, work at one nonprofit or another, find some some job that was like 40 to 50K. And my intuition was just like, absolutely not. Like, don't do that. Um, you want to just spend time honing your craft, figure out your voice as a writer, figure out which themes you really want to dive into and keep healing yourself, like keep going on this journey. Um, and I got really scared because I knew that was like a very high risk situation. And I then told, I asked my wife, I was like, um, I think I should try to do this writing thing. Um, she had very quickly, my wife is like, you know, she's amazing. She's um, super smart. Um, she very quickly got a job. Um, she's a biology major, got a job as a scientist. And I like very sheepishly asked her, I was like, do you think you can give me time? Like, I need time. I need time to figure out if writing could be a, a real thing for us. Um, I was like, if I do, like, if I do, if it works, then, and I write something that's actually really good, a book that, you know, people want to read and share with their friends, and that could be huge for us. If I fail, then I'll very happily go become a history teacher in high school. Um, and she said, okay. Um, so that was like the, the big moment, but I knew that was just like a very high risk situation because no, like not, not everyone's successful. And I put a lot of people who stick to it and they stick to it for the long haul. They are like, I think one thing that was hard to watch was like, as the Instagram writing community became bigger and bigger, there were some people who were fire. They were just incredible writers. They write the most thought provoking, beautiful things. And then one day they stopped, they would just stop. And I'm like, if this person kept going, they would be huge. They, they would also be New York Times bestsellers. And I think that was one of the things that ended up working out for me was like, I you know faced those first three years that were just a, such a slow climb. Like nothing was happening. Nobody was hitting me up in the email. Nobody was asking for anything. It was just like me trying to figure out my voice as a writer. And then eventually it like slowly started changing and we got some traction and I, you know, figured out how to um, connect with my audience better. And, and then it just started blowing up. Yeah.